Welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano and this is Taurus, December 2012. Taurus, we start off the month with the Sun in Sagittarius and this lights up the area of your life that has to do with other people's money, other people's values, your partner's values, your husband or wife, their values, their resources. It has to do with trust issues, intimacy, who you trust, where you set boundaries with others. It has to do with um, your sexuality. So this is an area that's being very much highlighted for you in December. And this is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Moon. And then on December 6th, we have the Moon in Virgo, which is a sister sign to you and very harmoniously uh, flowing with you, although it does challenge the Sun in Sagittarius. So the Moon um, challenging the Sun in Sagittarius can uh, focus you too much on the imperfection of others, the imperfection in yourself, and you want to use this energy instead for uh, improvement. Focus on what you want to change in your relationships or what you want to change in your life uh, rather than you know fault finding with yourself or others. Then Mercury the messenger enters Sagittarius on December 10th. So you could be getting news about money coming your way or your partner seeing an increase in his or her money. And this is always good news. Uh, Mercury is direct now, flying forward, lighting up this area of your life and um, it's good, it's good. It's the resources are improving, money is improving for you, money coming to you uh, or your partner, and that's always good news. Then we have a fabulous uh, new moon in freedom-loving Sagittarius. This is a beautiful new moon. Uh, it doesn't have any ugly aspects to it. It is just uh, the moon and the sun together starting a new 30-day cycle in the air of your life that has to do with receiving money from others, uh, intimacy, your sexuality, um, your partner money, your partner receiving money. So this is a good start in the money sector for you and that's always nice to see. So perhaps there's new beliefs around your partner and um, their money, their resources, what they're doing, but it is a time for fresh approach to uh, perhaps debt, uh, dialing down the debt, increasing resources, um, it, you know, so it's a good a time to really look at uh, the money coming in, the money going out, and how you can restructure things so that you do have uh, greater abundance. And then we have um, Uranus turning direct just a few hours after the new moon, signaling it's time to live from your authentic self, your heart, your truth. It's time to move forward and be original and innovative. And for you, this is happening in the area of your life that has to do with, you know, behind the scenes. It has to do with um, your dream state. So, you know, you may be uh, been dreaming very vividly, having wild dreams. Uh, you may notice that uh, because it's in the area of your life that has to do with the uh, subconscious mind. And um, also how we get in our own way. So this is a good time to look at that, like how you may hold yourself back. You know, what beliefs are holding you back? What is holding you back that no longer serves you, is no longer bringing you what you want? This is a good opportunity to take a look at that. Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, also enters the area of your life, that, uh, Sagittarius. Now, this is also an increase in income. Uh, so we've got Mercury there. We've got the new moon there. Now Venus is in there. So something good's happening with money coming to you through other people, through royalties, through uh, inheritance, through an insurance payout, uh, through a tax refund. Uh, money owed to you by other people or your partner's resources are increasing and that's always a good thing that always helps us feel more free and willing to take risks 
and I like seeing that for you. Then we have the Sun enter Capricorn on December 21st, winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, summer in the southern, it's the end of the Mayan calendar, it's the end of duality consciousness, we are entering unity consciousness or triality consciousness as I like to call it, where uh, we are recognizing that we're all one, we are connected to each other through the heart and the divine spark in us all. And of course, Capricorn is a sister sign to you. It harmonizes with you. So you begin to feel this upliftment, this new energy. It uh, rules the air of your life that has to do with future vision, expansion of consciousness, long distance travel, um, you know, using the internet as, uh, for your business, using the internet to grow your business, using the internet to reach out to others, to study or to teach. And then on December 25th, we have Merry Christmas in America. We have Happy Christmas in the UK or Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa. I don't want to miss anybody. So happy to everyone, whatever you celebrate. Happy Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas. And um, the sun also squares Uranus on this day as well. And so um, it's time for you to look at the beliefs and how they may sabotage you. You know, uh, you know beliefs that maybe you're not good enough, you're not doing enough, uh, you're not worthy, whatever the negative self-talk that would never come from creator, that would never come from your higher self. That is the negative ego that feeds those false beliefs. And maybe Uranus is waking some of that up, saying, hey, you know, it's time to let that go. Let go of false beliefs that no longer serve you because you're here to be empowered and you're here to have it all. You're here to have a great life. Then Mars enters Aquarius on December 25th. So, um, you know, it's interesting because Mars, uh, Uranus is in Aries, which is ruled by Mars. Now Mars is in Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus. Mars is the ambassador um, to Aquarius. And so Mars is now in the area of your life that has to do with your profession in the world, your individuality in the world, how you define yourself in the world. And Mars has really lightened this part up. So it is about looking at your resources, looking at your partner's resources, looking at your beliefs, and now moving up in the world, moving up in your profession moving up in what you do. It's very good. It's very exciting. Release what no longer serves you. Release what no longer works for you. Freedom from the past. Freedom to live your life authentically, originally, powerfully. Then we have the full moon in Cancer on December 28th, activating the Uranus-Pluto square. It's time to be a conscious creator. So this is about looking at how you think and communicate your uh, attitude, your uh, ability to speak, write, and teach, uh, as well as your higher consciousness. So this rules the area of your life that has to do with your lower mind, you know, the, the thought communication, as well as your higher mind, how you connect with source, how you connect to your higher self, what you believe, what you think. This is really being activated now by Uranus and Pluto. And so it's time to look at how your thoughts and your, your attitudes empower you or not, and what you need to let go of so that you are feeling your full life, feeling your full power, feeling your full, uh, using your full conscious awareness to create what you want. Now, when we may notice because Pluto's involved here and Uranus, uh, when they uh, get activated like this, that there could be some nasty games being played, watch for manipulation, hidden agendas, power plays, power struggles, uh, jealousy, secrets coming out. Um, it's just part of the game, part of the, the uh, field when these two are being activated like this. Fortunately, we also have Saturn and Pluto now in harmonious energy flow with each other. So this will help you feel strong within yourself, stable within yourself, 
as the changes happen because these are going to require change but for you it has more to do with um, day-to-day travel as well as long distance travel but it also has to do with how you think it really has to do with what's going on in your mind and how you talk to yourself and how you either empower yourself with positive self-talk or you know how you may be holding yourself back um, through uh, the fear and the negatives uh, and that only creates more of what we don't want like worry we use when we use worry we're using the power of our mind to create what we don't want so we want to let that go we want to let go of what no longer serves us and um, and allow the new beliefs the empowered beliefs to come in then the Sun conjuncts Pluto exact on December 30th and it's time to purge the past the cosmic message is to release what no longer serves your highest good if you're holding on that creates suffering and I know Taurus you guys you know you you and Scorpios you can hold on too long to things and if you're getting the message that it's time to let go of something you know it's not the letting go that causes the suffering it's the holding on so let go of what no longer serves you Okay. In Capricorn, it's time to go higher. Capricorn rules the goat, climbing the mountain. And that mountain is our higher consciousness, our higher self, and um, our higher vibration. It is time to climb that highest mountain uh, and vibration of consciousness that you can. Let go of beliefs that no longer serve you. Okay, Let go of what isn't empowering you. Capricorn is empowering you to um, create new life strategies because Mercury enters this era of your life now on December 31st where we have Happy New Year! It's time to say goodbye to 2012 and hello to 2013. It's time to think of new life strategies, new work strategies to create more of what you want in 2013. Okay. Now the challenge with Capricorn also is because it's ruled by Saturn is we can be uh, too serious. So if you find yourself getting too serious, again, really let that go. Get in your inner child. Get into your soul and be playful. Okay? Avoid negative people because they can be very draining. Okay? The universe is saying to you that you must release the past and release what no longer serves you. Be it a relationship, a job, a living location beliefs, attitudes, lifestyle. We create our reality through our thoughts and feelings. To change your situation, you must first change yourself on the inside. Real change comes from the inside out. So if we want to see the outside change, we have to change the inside first. Okay? And a problem can't be solved on the same level of thinking it was created. That's Einstein. So we have to climb higher in our thinking. We have to climb higher in our consciousness. And when we do that, we're in a new vibration. We're in a new level of consciousness. And from there we can solve, we see a new solution to our problems. And, and if you still can't find it, seek wise counsel through meditation or other people who have wisdom, who are wise. Own your power. Make a commitment to your new life in 2013. We end 2012 with the moon in playful Leo. We started out with the moon in playful Leo. Now we end in, in the moon with, in playful Leo. So I think there's a cosmic message here. Even though we have this intense uh, cancer full moon, um, you know, just a couple days later that moon goes into Leo and it says, come on, let's lighten up. Let's have some fun. Let's um, not take ourselves so seriously. Let's, let's be playful. Okay, let's focus on what we can do and um, for you it's about nurturing yourself because Leo rules that part of your life that has to do with how you nurture yourself, how you take care of yourself. So it's very important that you are loving on yourself. When you love yourself, others can love you too. Okay, and so um, we're, we're, we're ending this year, it's really interesting because Pluto and Uranus are saying strip the past, let go of what no longer serves you and be the conscious creator. Be the conscious creator. Live from your heart and soul, your inner child. Create from your heart and your soul. That's what we do in fifth dimension. In fifth dimension we will not be creating from the ego. We will be creating from our heart and our soul 
It's going to be so awesome. And so you're moving from duality consciousness to all or one consciousness. And I created the coaching tool for you, Consciously Creating 2013. The link is below. You can go to that link and work with that tool to consciously create what you want in 2013. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, Taurus. Thank you for liking and sharing my podcast. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Thank you for your comments, letters, and feedback. It's great to hear from you. Thank you to all my clients. I appreciate you. And if you would like to work with me and have me take a detailed look at your astrology, the link is below. It takes you to my astrology page. And from there, you can purchase your session. And from there, we schedule it. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, keep looking up.